uh, outside uh, supporters, like Friends of Earth Middle East, uh, and like uh, the United States government through USAID, are working to rehabilitate uh, the Jordan River uh, and uh, working to use these uh, very uh, vexing, very important environmental challenges as a means to also build uh, peaceful relations between Israelis and Palestinians, Israelis and Jordanians. Uh, and the fact is there is actually tremendous progress uh, that we've seen uh, today. I, I could not understand fully uh, the technical aspects of this project without seeing it with my own eyes. Uh, but now I can see the uh, progress that's going to be made with the completion of the wastewater treatment plant uh, and the return of, uh, of the flow of water into the Jordan River. Uh, USAID is a partner uh, through the support of the Big Water Neighbors Program, uh, which, as I said, has both an environmental and a, and a peace-building aspect to it. Friends of Earth of the Middle East is a, is a terrific partner uh, to, to do that work with. And so we're here uh, to support the Israeli government, uh, the local communities, uh, and the, all the Israeli, Palestinian, Jordanian uh, local uh, uh, residents who are trying to, to solve their joint uh, uh, environmental and water challenges. When you're at the Al Mot Dam site, you looked horrified. You were looking at your face about so far. Did you see that personally? Describe what you saw there. Well, uh, all I saw was I think what was obvious was that this is a, a what used to be a, a, a great uh, river uh, that uh, had uh, great environmental environmental or uh, benefits for the whole region. Uh, has great historical significance and religious significance for people of, of three religions. Uh, really not uh, what it once was. And uh, it's been many years since I've been able to visit uh, and see it for myself. So to see it uh, and see that there's you know, raw sewage in place of uh, fresh water uh, is, uh, is very striking. But at the same time, it's encouraging to know that within a year, uh, that, uh, that uh, dam will be removed, uh, the water will begin to flow again, uh, and that's a major step on the path toward rehabilitating this river. What's your opinion on the uh, prospect of the Peace Park in a place where you wouldn't have to um, have a visa? Do you think that's actually something that likely or, or possible? It's certainly possible, uh, and uh, we know uh, that uh, there's a great commitment here on the Israeli side to do it. I believe there uh, is strong interest on the Jordanian side. Uh, we want to be a partner, and I think have been, sponsoring uh, this, uh, uh, some of this, uh, these joint projects going all the way back to the signing of the peace treaty. Uh, there's still obviously work to do. It takes, uh, uh, takes investment uh, of funds and, and energy and, and coordination on all sides, uh, but I think we're, we're strong supporters of it and want to try to help move forward. With the U.S. putting funding to the UNESCO and other uh, missions to the Palestinian Authority, do you see the U.S. increasing investments in projects like Friends of the Earth? Um, I, I'm not sure there's a, a direct correlation between those. We, we have a strong interest in uh, cooperating with lots of uh, uh, the international organizations that we work with, uh, but we also have a uh, strong interest in partnering with uh, uh, organizations like Friends of the Earth Middle East that have proven themselves as uh, responsible, creative uh, actors on the ground, uh, working with local and uh, and, uh, and national authorities. Uh, so, to the extent our resources can support uh, that kind of activity, we want to support uh, want to support both. So, do you see water as a possible bridge for peace? Really? It already is. I mean, uh, it's uh, certainly a source of controversy, but already we've seen through the Good Water Neighbors Project, Israeli and Palestinian communities and Israeli and Jordanian communities. Uh, uh, pooling their knowledge and uh, sharing their uh, their needs with each other uh, to try to help solve some of these problems. So recently, the uh, Israeli uh, Environment Minister and the Jordanian Water Authority uh, uh, Director uh, were able to meet and uh, share some of their uh, concerns with each other. That's the kind of direct uh, interaction between the two sides that I think can actually uh, solve both the water problem and make a contribution for solving the, the bigger peace problems. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome to stay on. We can speak more about the peace part. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.